Hi, I'm Tate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WPL for Elementor to build a stunning real estate website with ease. WPL is a full service plugin for WordPress that brings Elementor's drag and drop editing to real estate. You can find WPL for Elementor at the Realtina homepage. Just click on Products, WPL for Elementor. Here we have some information about the plugin. To get started, click Request a Demo. Our sales team will reach out with a trial and any info you need. Once you complete your order, the full version will be provided for download. Now we can start making some page templates. Let's start with the property details page for individual listings. This template has dedicated elements listed under WPL property details. Let's add property title. In layout, you can toggle the content you want to display and in style, you can customize colors and fonts. In the next section, we will add slider. We can change some settings like this to customize. Now we can add the description element. Under title, you can rename the section and change the style. And now details. Let's set property for kind and basic details for categories. You can change title, style, and layout, just like for the other elements. Now we can add agent info. If you want the same agent to appear on all the listings, you can change agent static to show and fill out the fields for the agent. The contact agent element allows you to add contact form to your listings. Display settings allows you to toggle different fields. We can add some links and buttons with the favorite button, print button, compare, and social link elements. We can make them horizontal by going to advanced and setting width to inline. In style, you can change the color and the hover color. Now we can add the attachments element. We can make it horizontal and layout. Just remember, this is just setting the template of your page. The actual content, like the images here, are added when you create a listing in WPL. Let's finish by adding the Google Map widget. Under Map, you can set the zoom level just like this. To use this template, go back to the Templates menu and activate it. Now go to WPL Elementor Settings and make sure Override is active. And that's it! Your template is set up and ready to use on your site. With WPL for Elementor, you can add countless features and customizations in just minutes. Now let's set up a template for your property listing page or the portal page where users will search for listing. Click on Properties Archive. Now drag and drop the property listings element. You can use filter and advanced filtering to set various filters on this element, but many agents leave this untouched and let the users do the filtering themselves. You can change zoom level and controls in the map settings. In layout display settings, you can choose the content you want to appear. To add a search bar, drag the listing search element. You can control the fields in your search bar, first by creating or editing a widget, and then by selecting it here. That's it for the search portal. Just like for the property template, we should activate it and make sure override is active. With an agent profile page, you can display individual agent details like contact info, testimonials, and listing. Click on agent detail to add a new template. Now let's add the agent images element. You can use it to display your picture or company logo or add it twice to display both. Contact will provide a contact form and About will provide bio information. Now we can add agent details. You can use Add Item to add fields. And finally, you can add the agent property listing. This element works similar to property listing element. And then you publish the element just like the others. Let's conclude by making a full page with details that you can use for a home page. Since there is just one home page, we don't necessarily need to create a template. From Pages, select Home, and Edit with Elementor. In this first section, let's add the Text Editor element, and I will paste in some text. Now let's create a new column, and we can add a property image. You can use Advanced Padding to move it to the location you want. Now I'll add some more, and I'll refresh the home page. Looks good. 
In the next section, let's add the carousel property listing widget. In layout, settings, we will show four listings. Let's move on to the next section and start with the heading element with some text that I will paste in. And now we will add some properties locations elements. We will do this like how we did with the images elements a little bit ago. We can choose property kind and select our state. And then we can add a photo. Now I'll add some more. And now let's refresh our homepage. Looking great. In the next section, we can add the agents list carousel. We can edit the title in content title and toggle some display settings under the advanced menu. Let's finish up by adding news and updates. Let's drag the posts element and set the style to modern. Now save and refresh. And that's it. Now you know how to build a custom real estate site with WPL for Elementor. Download the plugin and give it a try today.